I just think it'll be better if I tell her when Steve's not there. Why? Because then he can't eat me. Well, that doesn't seem like a very good reason. But I suppose it does give Michelle a chance to get over the shop before she sees him again. Exactly. Exactly, it will. So I can't go charging in there, can I? Besides, I've got an airport run, which I'm going to be late for if I don't get my skates on. You're not trying to get out of it, are you? Yeah. Yeah, I am trying to get out of it. The only way I can. Which is doing as you suggested and telling the truth. Only, not now. A bit later. Bye. <laughs> well, here's to both of you. Congratulations and well done. And we're all dead pleased for you. Yeah. Congratulations, kids. Just don't get thinking you can have a bigger wedding than ours, eh? Oh, sounds like you're going to have a competition. Well, Cheers, love. No boy. competition, <laughs> Betty. Ours is going to be bigger. Oh. <laughs> I don't see a ring. No, oh, but you will. Just give us a bit of time. How much time? Come on, when's the big day? Oh, come on. I only said yes five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, gosh, you did, love. Oh, and Steve got it all planned out. I mean, in that way, I went off to Spain. Yeah, but maybe Michelle doesn't like his plans. Maybe she's got plans of her own. You mean that's going to be their first round? No, it isn't. I just have to change things if I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mate, well done. And I'm sorry if your father was out of order earlier. Really. That stuff about not messing my sister about. Yeah. And then I wasn't trying to put pressure on you. No, I wasn't you who did that, to be honest. I was that wound up about everything. I couldn't see it was what I wanted anyway. Once I calmed down a bit. Of course, what am I here? Well, I'm really pleased for you. <laughs> Kevin hates him, and that's because he thinks Tony's trying to tell him what to do. Kevin would hate anybody who does that. Dealings I've had with him have been very pleasant, straightforward. Well, you know what Kevin would say. That's because you've got something that he wants. Can't deny it. He's seen it. He's seen the sign. What sign? Telling him he can't part there. Do you not listen to a word I say? I try not to. I've got to get back or I'm going to get the sack. You see, I'm not only selling him my business, I'm selling him my home as well, so I have to think I can trust him. Well, I can only tell you that Kevin doesn't. Look, you park on this side, we keep this clear so we can get cars in and out, no problem. Unfortunately, the plans don't bear that Look, out. I've had this place 12 years, 12, right? And this is how it's always been. Shouldn't have been. Look, we both know what you're playing at. This is all because I won't sell up. It is, yeah? No, it's because the deeds don't seem to say what you want them to. So why wasn't you telling me this two weeks ago? Because I hadn't looked at them then. I didn't know what the situation was going to be. Well, listen, this is what I'm telling you. You that side, us this side, like it's always been. OK. Well done, Kevin. That told him. Yeah, and you said he wouldn't take any notice. Oh, I, I meant the sign, but now, now you've stood up to him. Well, he had to. Uh, let's see what happens, shall we? I'll go and get that car in. You know, I think this might be a turning point. The moment he realises what he's up against. Yes. I don't know why it's such an issue that I don't want to wipe down the tables in Roy's cafe. It's not. Just be honest. I'm being honest. I don't want to do it. No, because you went to that reunion and it made you feel, I don't know, ashamed. Oh, please. Well, did you tell them what you did? When they were saying, well, I'm the Prime Minister and I'm the Archbishop of Canterbury, did you actually say, well, I work in a greasy spoon? I don't actually remember having a conversation with either the Prime Minister or the... You see, you won't answer. No, I won't answer, cos when I do, you won't listen. Sorry, Molly, uh, just having a slight difference of opinion. We get a lot of them in here. Ah, Deirdre and Ken. How are you both? Uh, they're having a difference of opinion. Best to ask. OK. Well, let me ask you instead. Now... Hey, do you find this shop easy to use, right? Or B, do you find the layout perhaps just a trifle confusing? Not this easy again. Not what? It's always the same. You've got nothing better to do your time, so you start reorganising everything. <laughs> we'll talk about it later, then. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, I mean, what, what, what do you think people are saying? About me? Wherever they like. Look, if you'd said no to him, none of this would have been happening. But I don't want to say no to him. Because you've not thought about it. Of course I've thought about it. I've had enough of this shop. I want to give it up. And he's making me a good offer. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, but, but what about the wider implications? How this affects your friends and, and the neighbours? And you. 
how this affects you. That's what this is about. I'd like to think he would consider me, yes. And I have, believe it or not. And I still don't understand why you don't think it's a good offer as well. Because I like my life as it is, not as he would have it be. Afternoon. Hey, hello, Blanche. Let's see ya. I'll have a quarter of them bonbons. Uh, Blanche, what do you think about these plans for a giant lorry park on your doorstep? Who oh, is that what he has in mind? I know he's out there now, waving a piece of paper about. What? T -t Tony Gordon? Out there? Well, I've just seen him. A quarter? Or was there anything else? I can get a tape and measure it if you like. I wouldn't like, no. It's quite clear your property runs to about here. Oh, come on. Yeah, OK, them deeds, yeah. They might show you who owns what. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, but it's such a thing as right away. There is, yeah. And we have right away over all this area there. But you do. Show me when it says that. How else are we supposed to get in and out? Look, I'm not saying it's written down. I'm saying what's established, the way it's always been. Yeah. I think if this ever went to a court of law, you wouldn't have a leg to stand on. All right, so that's what's going to happen next. No. You're going to take my court? No. What I'm saying is... You could do a lot better if you took your business and re-established it elsewhere. See? Then I tell you that's what this is all about. You did, Kev? Look, maybe we should just leave this just now, but maybe you can move your sign so that it's in your property and not mine. Thank you. Are we going to move it? Couple of foot. He was supposed to be going to some posh lunch, but then it got cancelled. So, of course, he takes it out on me. Tries to. Do you know what time we'll be having tea, love? Uh, what time would you like it? Well, this is a bowling match at the Legion, you see. As soon as I come in, then, yeah? That would be great, that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now he's decided he wants to reorganise everything. Which means he'll produce what he calls his master plan, scribbled on a bit of paper, and I'll have to do donkey work. Well, I... Anyway, best get back. Are you winning? No. Ah, oh, well, never mind. See you later. Gonna get married in Spain then? Well, uh. Because I thought that's why you went over there. Well, it, it is. It's... You can get married in a ballroom, you know. I had a mate did that. It was empty at the time, was it? I didn't say. Right, I've just spoken to Ryan. He said, Congratulations, he's dead happy for us. Oh, great. Yeah, he said, uh, Do I have to be best man again? I said, Well, why do you want to be? He said, It depends who your bridesmaids are. Uh... <laughs> Has she not been in? Not since you saw him this morning. He's just probably in the Rovers, which means she's probably in the Rovers as well. Well, I could ring him. And say what? I don't know, that I've got some bills need signing off. I'll try. Well done, that man. Aye. Right. Hey, should tell Mum and Dad. Ah, oh, they'll be well, so another wedding. <laughs> Hello, Eileen. Oh, you could have it over there. That'd be better than Spain. Better, eh? Well, I heard you know it. Dad will be at the golf, though, won't he? I better wait till tonight. Oh, I'll be there in a minute. I've got to sign some checks. There be work, that. Can you sign one for me? Hey, yeah, aren't you two supposed to be working? Us? Uh, nope. Can I just say like that you have made me very, very happy? Can I just say exactly the same thing? Yeah, go on in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Does to me. Manchester oh. invented having a good time. <laughs> mm. Whatever. Is Michelle around? Uh, I think she's gone back, hasn't she? Yeah, I think she's just gone to get some change. She won't be long. Okay, I'll wait. Hello, Rita. Come in. 
bet you think I've got a cheek coming to your place of work. I just didn't know how else to find you. No, it's fine. Take a seat. I assume it's all right talking in front of both of you. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Only, uh, I'm a bit concerned. You seem to be falling out with folk I regard as good friends. Now, that puts me in an awkward position. Because they know I've got an agreement with you, they're assuming I must be on your side. And you don't want that? I don't. So I've come to ask, can we not sort this out in a more civilised fashion, instead of all of us falling out about who owns this bit of land, who owns that bit of land? It's what I've been telling him. There's nothing I'd like better. Really, there isn't. And you know what, Rita? I was going to come and see you later. You know why? I'd like to take you to see the show flag. Because it occurred to me that one of those flats might just be the thing for you, and I could do you a really good deal. So I wonder, would you like to take a walk around there just now and we could talk about this? Uh, uh, no, if you like. You can manage on your own, can't you? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. After you. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Lloyd. What can I get you? I, I don't want a drink. <clears throat> Actually, I've got a bit of a confession to make. No? Well, you've chosen a very good time because I'm ready to forgive anybody anything. I hope so. <laughs> See, all that stuff I told you about Steve going to Spain because he was planning on proposing and he wanted to sort everything out. Yeah. It wasn't true. He made it up. That kind of joke. I didn't mean anything by it. It's just... Well, you know, it's just a bit daft. <laughs> right. Only when I told Steve about it, he went absolutely bananas. Which he had every right to, you know. It's like putting him and you on the spot, isn't it? It's like forcing him to propose to you. Yeah, uh Yes, I suppose it I suppose it would be. Oh, well. <clears throat> no harm done, eh? Um would you mind coming through to the back? Coming through? Yeah, uh, I'd just I'd just like to hear a bit more about this. Please. Did you have a nice walk? Well, it stayed fine. Oh, and I had a look in at Roy's to see how he was managing, now that he's all on his own. You make him sound like an abandoned orphan. How's he doing? The poor chap were run off his feet. There were tables to be cleared, folk queuing up to be served, and then getting fed up and walking out. And rats coming out of the floorboards, a building falling down on his head. I'd have offered to help him myself, but my shoulder was playing up. All right, all right, I'll admit it, shall I? Yes, that university reunion did make me think about things. It did make me question what I'm doing with however much I've got left in my life. And yes, that is the reason I decided I didn't want to waste any more of it wiping down tables. I mean, have I got to apologise for this or something? Have I done some terrible wrong? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to. Why should I? You're both being absolutely ridiculous. We are. Steve had no intention of proposing. Not the faintest. And you said he did, because it was a joke you were playing on him. A joke, yeah. What, because none of the other jokes you were telling me had worked? What was all that about, Lloyd? All them lies? Just what were you covering up? Nothing, just... Oh, I tell you what, forget I asked. Because I'm only going to get more lies, aren't I? I think Steve should answer that one. It's probably best. So, Steve gets back from Spain, and you tell him about this joke. Yeah. And did he find it funny? Funny? No. No. He was mad as a wasp. Threatened to kill me. Which was... when I realised I might have... overdone it a bit. Cos he didn't want to marry me. I don't think the thought had crossed his mind. Look, Michelle, I'm, I'm really sorry. Can, can we not just forget about this? Yesterday, maybe we would have. Today, a bit harder. Why's that? Oh, cos see, today, Steve proposed to me. No. Oh, yeah. Just like in your joke. He asked me to marry him. And me, 
not knowing it was a joke, said yes. So, happy ending then? You are. When someone proposes to you because their pal had set him up and they didn't even have the guts to admit that their pal had set him up, you think that's a happy ending? Not when you put it like that, no. And I was so pleased. I couldn't wait to tell everyone. And we were all celebrating and, and talking about what the wedding was going to be like. You can still have it. Oh, don't be stupid twice, Lloyd. How can I still have it? When I know he'd never even have proposed to me unless you'd force him. When he was that mad, he threatened to kill you for doing it. I exaggerated. Yeah, well, I'm not exaggerating. I could never marry him after this, all right? Never in a million years. Oh, what have I done? Yeah. What have you done? And him. Well, him more than you, cos you were just stupid and he's... How can he really care about me when he'd do something like that? Look, if there's anything I can do... Like what? Well... One thing... Don't tell him you've been here today and told me this. Why? What are you going to do? None of your business. Just don't tell him, all right? Yeah, OK. Can I go now? Well, Michelle, love, I... I really am sorry. Master plan. Really? Mm -hmm. Showing where everything should be. Means moving a few things around, like so. That's there, that's there, there, and there. So I was thinking maybe you could stay on for an hour or two so we could do this with the shop closed, make life a lot easier. Tonight I can't, though. But well, Molly, why? Sorry. Why? Why can't you? Because I've got to get home. Why? You got any children to look after? No, you're not even married. I've got to get Jackie's tea. Yeah, but why? Why can't he get his own? Cos it's like I have to do. I suppose he could, but I've said <sighs> I'll do it now. I give up. Let's just leave the shop as it is, right? And never mind when customers come in here and they start panicking cos they think they're in a maze and they're never going to get out alive. They only start panicking when they see the owners dreaming up daft ideas cos they've now better to do with the time. I can see you. Summer evening, sitting here, gin and tonic by your sides, living the good life that you've worked all your life for. You think you may be interested? I might be, yeah. It's somewhere different, but you'd still be close to those friends and neighbours that you've talked about. <laughs> that is, if I have any left, you'll still talk to me. Ah, we're back to that. What? Were you hoping I'd be so starry-eyed with all this? I'd forget why I came to see you. No. You're much too clever for that. I was hoping you might be able to help me out. Me? Help you? Yeah, stop me being seen as the big bad wolf who's trying to blow everyone's house down. When really I'm trying to be open and honest about my intentions. I'm, I'm making what I think are fair offers, but, well, Kevin Webster in particular. But if he doesn't want to move? Well, he doesn't have to, of course he doesn't. But if he could only see what I'm offering. He's got so much to gain, and he wouldn't even consider it. You don't sit down with a big bad wolf, do you? Well, I don't see how I can change that. I'm offering Kevin the biggest bonus he'll probably ever get in his life. He doesn't even want to talk. Anyway, would you like another look around her? Have you seen enough? Got to be even down there tonight. Bit of a needle match. Oh. Uh you know what I said Dev would do with his master plan, then expecting me to shift everything? You did, I... I... Word for word. Uh... Except the only thing I got wrong, he wanted me to stay on and do it. So I said no. He did right. And then you know what he said, because he threw a little tantrum. Why wouldn't I stop on? It's not as though I've got kids. I'm not even married. Cheeky devil. <laughs> I'm not even married. Like, that means I should be at his every beck and call. Oh, not having that. I'm not even married. Like, that makes me some sort of inferior human being. You 
know why she's telling you that, don't you? Why? Come on, think. What? So go round and sort them out. No, 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 no. She wants you to marry her. No. What was it she said again, lovey? Said I wasn't even married. Hello, Sally. Hello, Rita. I've had your boss, Mr. Gordon, giving me the guided tour around them new flats. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> He's not a bad fella. I just think Kevin's taken against him. Well, he thinks so, too. Which is a shame if it's going to cost Kevin money. And cost me. Oh, well, that's an even bigger shame. <laughs> See you, love. Bye. ta -da. He went home then, eventually. What? Oh, er, uh, Liam and... Yeah. Yeah, they did, yeah. So what have you been doing? No regrets, I hope. You're not changing your mind. No. No, I think I've made my mind up. I'm not going to change it now. Don't matter what anyone says. Well, you better not. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to do some cleaning up in there, and then we must celebrate properly. Just me and you. Oh, boys, what have you done? Now, if you think you're more clued up than Steve and Lloyd about love, life and all things Cory, test your knowledge online at itv.com slash quiz. Next on ITV1, as the car crimes get bigger and more dangerous, just how do the police stay one step ahead? Police camera action finds out. While on ITV3, it's PD James's Black Tower.